Okay, guys, uh, uh, we want to make a follow up on the scenario where we have a B1, B2 visa that get married to a US citizen. So that's possible. But I understand, we need to understand. That's a understand. Let's say if you have your boyfriend or girlfriend and you are overseas, okay? You already have the US citizen boyfriend and you are overseas. And then you try to get a B1, B2 visa. You get the B1, B2 visa to come in USA and get married. That's not possible. That's not possible. It's like you're trying to avoid the process. So the way it's possible, let's say you are on B1, B2 visa. You didn't have any girlfriend or boyfriend, but you just come in USA. And then while you in USA, you're visiting, you find someone, you fall in love, you get married. That's possible. Okay, that's the case. We're doing a follow-up for, for, for this case. We're explaining some details. So a normally a, a we mail this case on June 21st, okay? On June 21st, 2017. We made all the paperwork. Okay, it's June 21st, 2017. That will give you an ID, okay? The case where we have a B1, B2 visa. In USA, and the B1, B2 visa get married to a US citizen. So in this case, I already explained all the details the way it works because it's gonna be you file the I-130 with the adjustment of status, okay, and then you can file for employment, okay. So you will have an ID. Well, so we made the case on June 21st, 2017, and then let me show you. Uh, so we made the case on June 17th. So they told the I-130 has been received on June 26th, okay? And then, which means 21st, like that's been five, five days. Five days later, they receive it, but we made it priority, okay? You can choose the way to mail it. It's a priority, it's faster. You just pay seven, it depends, it can be up. To seven dollars or eight dollars, it depends on priority. And then today we are in July six, so twenty first, almost. Let me see, twenty first, twenty six. So let's say two weeks, two weeks, two weeks and some days, because we are today is July, July six. So which mean two weeks, approximately two weeks and some days. So which mean it can. So we, today in in July 6, we receive a text message from a from from a mail and phone number or from the client. The customer receives a text telling the case has been received and they will forward uh, a mail, a, a notice. The notice is gonna be, you know, the the, the usual notice is gonna be the notice uh, I-797. So which means it can take one more week to receive this notice. So approximately that, that can give you an ID max. So let's say in three weeks and some day, or almost four weeks. So to receive the first notice, okay, the first notice, that, that they would work. So remember we made it on June 21st, and then they, they told us the case has been received on June 26th, and today is just, july 6 we receive a text message telling us that the case has been received and then that they will uh, uh, so we need to follow in mail okay so we will we will receive the notice on our mail and that might take one more weeks okay that give you an id so we explain for the ad uh, when you are on b1 b2 visa Okay, you you come in USA and then you find someone, you get married, you can find the I-130 together with the form I-485. As well, you can file for employment. So we file all this form together. So uh, for all the case, we, you will have an ID, you know, how long it take, what's what going to be the next step. That's not the approval yet, okay? That's not the approval. That's... They just say that your case has been received, okay? And then there's gonna be another 
there are gonna be other steps for the case okay so uh, stay tuned subscribe to my channel and then we will follow this case step by step so that you can have an idea thank you and take care of yourself